Hello guys, and today I'm kind of filming on a different background just to get to focus better. This is a little bit different though. I'm going to show you how to make a pony card hook out of a tank. If you want to make your own tank, it is optional. And then this here curled in the tank and was on the top part. And I did choose that specific or well I would say shell color just because I do have a hook I need to use on the side of one of my cameras today. Say hi to me today. He's he's weird. He is the crowding me in. Oh, come on, Junior, say hi. Okay. Nothing. So, do you want to be having a hook in the camera? No, stick it just like that. We're going to start off, we're going to use shell color. The color red and on the last one I had a green or not a green orange shell white spot so I'm going to just have a pinkish shell and I'm probably going to paint it a different color because this is I have a lot of this clay. So you're going to start off he's gonna hit me if I get too close. He usually does pinch me. If you do like see your finger in the shell, he will be on your back for a painter. Okay. So you start by just taking a very, very, very long color. And you want it longer than your shell. And you're under your screen to like not really twist the end of itself, but just twist it around more. Just to get like a shell shape instead of just having the solid color. And again, you can make any color you want. And go back to the other tools. I'm going to use the pencil. I'm going to just poke a hole in the middle. And you can know how I do that. Just take these and I put it in, and then I just. Let go of the handles because when I let go of the handles, the middle part just goes over. So you want to hold on it and then it will like just horizontal. So I'm looking over and I just, just let go of the handles. So you're going to almost like hollow out the shell like a man who's just like what are you doing so once you have your shell look like this and you're going to take your red and separate it into two different parts or one huh? you're going to roll it into a really really thin sheet I don't really get these in really small amounts, but the smaller the amount of clay thin, the easier it is to roll a spinner sheet. Here, I'm giving you a little. And he's really fascinated by the red clay, because I found when I put it on my little key tabs, it's a little a block of red clay. Or just a block of blue or purple or whatever. I'm going to just take this and you're going to use your camera. Okay. I'm going to take it and line them both up. And then you're going to cut it in half. And now I'm making a third. Just so you can get a nice line, and then you're going to cut those and pinch those thirds into sixths. 
They're just spawning each third in a half. So we have our legs, the eyes, you can paint them on, but I would suggest just making a little bit of black. Again, you can paint it on, that's why I don't really do all the rest of that so far. Now, if you're doing an actual corner, like I would suggest, take double, um, Triple the amount of length you want your your little crab's eye to be. Then you're just going to put two blocks, on, two specks of black on each end, and then put that aside. Last, we need a claw. Need. Come on, Daniel. Not gonna hurt you. Most people would scream at this little crab, but he's more scary of people than people are scary of him. So he has a big claw and then a teeny little claw. And look, he's coming out. And now we just touch this one on the crab. We don't touch that claw because if it's on the crab, you might die. He has a lot of room to show from swimming in his little aquarium pool like thing. So you're going to get a thicker snake and you're just going to cut a little bit of the rest that looks like the big claw. And for the thinner claw you're just going to take like a thinner snake and yeah. And the claw ends up being really thin or just thinner and you can use scissors to help cut your little thing and there's a dark mess and I'll do it on that one day no, 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 no. Just get like a thinner claw and you can squish it a little bit to make it look smaller. Okay, now that you have all that, you're going to go back to your eye. And you're going to make this shape by just squishing the two ends instead of having two different specks. And we're going to start putting it to all together. So, actually, no, I miscounted. The crab only has four legs besides the claws. We're just going to place four legs, the four longest, and then put the two longest in the back and then the two shortest in the front. Not the shortest, they're still long, but shorter than the little ones. So you get something like this. I'm going to put the big claw on the right side and the smaller claw on the left side. And you just really like placing ends in the shell. And if you want, you can kind of take a pencil or your tool again to push the red specks in like I did. You kind of push it all the way you can touch the side. You're just going to touch the eyes up front. Make sure your two legs don't attach to each other, or one of your legs and then the claws, because that's happened to me, or the two eyes. If that happens, just quickly separate them. And then there you have it. There you have it, Cloud, and you can place his legs anywhere. If you're going to put him in a tank, you can make him look like he's crawling. And if I just saw this, if you want a hermit crab kind of sleeping somewhere or hiding, 
like this guy is. And it's kind of like small legs, no eyes, and just one claw. Or just the shell to make him look like that. So say bye, Demeter. Bye. <laughs>